Hey guys, my name is Peter Elvidge and I'm going to be uh, talking to you in my first podcast. Um, I just, you are well aware, if you have uh, found this podcast randomly, I am open to feedback, I'm open to ideas, and um, besides that, let me get started. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you guys about um, is, since it's my first podcast, is um, I'm going to talk about who I am. Who I am is I am a blind a blind pixel artist. And what that means, let me start out with the blind part. My, um, my disability is uh, blindness. I've been blind in my right eye ever since birth. And... Um, for um just for the record for all of you out there um i do not have a right eye i have a ocular prosthetic which basically means i have a um i have a cosmetic fake eye um that was made for me so that um uh cosmetically i look like i have two but i actually only have one eye um my uh, left however um is uh my vision acuity current date is 20 over a thousand um due to the last uh, b- between the years of um 2012 to 2014 i have been, i was battling um what we thought to be uh glaucoma um for an um, amount of time uh with drops and numerous medications um to find out um a little bit later that I'm actually at risk for glaucoma, but I do not have it. What I am actually suffering from is a form of what's called cone and rod dystrophy. Now, just so you're well aware, cone and rods are what project your colors and your intake of light into your eyes. And these ultimately make up your detail and your uh, object recognition. And the thing is, is that because of my cone and rod dystrophy, which means slow degeneration of your uh, cones and rods, I have very minimal um, object recognition and um, detail recognition and uh, some forms of reading, but reading <clears throat> cited wise for me has to be um, at an obscene size. And uh, that's why I use digital media, you know, via text-to-speech programs, screen readers, and things like that to compensate for my disability. Um, anyways, um, continuing on, but uh, basically I, I use my left eye as my primary source of sight. Otherwise, everything else is done without sight, um, you know, uh, during while well, I... Uh, go out during the day I, you know obviously i use a white a white cane um but that's a total different topic for a different podcast um but uh continuing is that for um for me for the last couple of years before i get into my art i want to explain a little bit is that before before i uh, started doing my art um I was going through numerous, you know, doctor's appointments. There was numerous drops. There was different uh, tests that they were having me do. And every day, you know, there was a consistent, um, a consistent, you know, what's going on because my vi- I had these uh, vision um, decreases every once in a while where. Um, I would lose a portion of my vision. I don't wouldn't understand why. And um, it got to a point where they consistently did tests and they didn't find anything wrong. They found out that my pressures were high. So what that's what led them to uh, believe that it was glaucoma. Um, though I am at risk. F- I am at risk for it no matter what, because my, you know, it's a genetic trait in my family. So I'm, I'm, almost certain I'm going to be getting it, but for the time being right now, I'm at risk for it. So I have, um, I have pretty stable pressures, but, uh, they might go up in the future, but that's not for another 20 or so years. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but, uh, when, um, 
when I was going through these doctor's appointments and things, I was, you know, looking for something to do. I was looking for a way back. I'm like, you know, I'm losing my vision, but I want to, you know, like, how can I work again? How can I, how can I beat it? You know, how can I continue doing something while this is happening to me, you know? And, um, it happened to be actually by random where I was on YouTube one morning and I found this really cool art form. It's called pixel art. And now what pixel art is, is what you do is you use a video, um, a video software, you know, mainly what I use is Photoshop. Um, and what you do in there is you create a, uh, a grid and, um, you make it a, uh, uh, grid where every square is a pixel and um, basically what you do in pixel art is that you draw or I mean sorry you don't draw you um, you color in each every individual pixel one at a time each square you put in a color one at a time to make to make very um, I guess for the general public simple images however when I saw that um, that art form uh, for the, you know, there, there were some really simple images out there, you know, the, um, like, uh, particularly if you've ever played Nintendo, um, uh, the first Super Nintendo and things like that, you'll know what I'm talking about with Mario Brothers, you know, the really simple looking Mario, uh, there's, it's, he's easy to make in pixel art, but, um, what I do is very, very, very big artworks because my cone and rod dystrophy limits me to see big pictures you know if I were to um, if I were to draw it um, it wouldn't work but because my cone and rod dystrophy uh, I'm able to zoom in enough and see well enough squares uh, because your eyes just you all are well aware of you, your eyes naturally adjust to squares better than they do <clears throat> better than they do circles because they have edges on them thus they're able to able more to be recognized for a longer period of time um so you know that's what got me into it because i was still able to see squares and when i put when i made images out of squares i could still see it enough to understand what i'm making and the amount of detail i'm putting into it and things like that um if you are, let me say this before I continue, if you are interested in seeing what my pixel art is, um, please uh, send me a message uh, to ask me for my links. Uh, my email is pete.2010 at yahoo.com um, to ask me info about uh, you know my art because I'm always open to showing my art to new people. Um, or you can check out my YouTube channel, which has my time-lapse videos and numerous other fun videos on there for you. Uh, the YouTube channel is P-E-T-E-4725. -E and, um, yeah, so, uh, continuing on. Um, my art consists of, my smallest image is 20,000 pixels. It's like, uh... It's like a hundred, hundred pixels high by like eighty to ninety across, um, and that was from that was actually for my first image was New Beginnings, and that one is a really cool sunset. Um, and yet again, if you do want information about that, please either get my email <coughs> or my. Uh, YouTube account um, so you can go and check that out um, and uh, going while I was going through my um, doctor's appointments and things like that I was um, I was making all these different works you know it was, to, it was a way to cope it was a it was a way to get back it was a way to find something that I could still do and not only something I could do something I loved because I loved doing art until this all came up I I was in advanced computer graphics and things like that during my school. I was going for graphic designer as my college degree, which I can't pursue, unfortunately, because my lim my vision is so limited that um, 
that uh, that daily task of work would not work for my eyes nor for my um, uh, nor for my uh, eye strain uh, but uh, I'm able to pursue art in a different form where I can actually take my art and I can actually sell it to people not only as its own pieces but I can um, sell it to people on things which uh, if you guys are interested you can go to zazzle.com and uh, type up the shop digipixel and you can see my art on like iPhone covers on pillows on cups on all sorts of things you guys go check it out um, anyways continuing back I've been you know I made the uh, I was making images you know all the way up to date you know it's been a progression as to getting you know people started seeing my work people were like yay you know this is really cool this is unique this is awesome this is you got a great story behind it and each of them have their own background story as well as they stand out by their own as their own personal beautiful piece of artwork um so i've been recently getting um getting promoted I've, I've got a couple exhibitions I'm being sold at a local store in the state of Minnesota if you are in the state of Minnesota the shop name is called the art shop and it's at the Midtown Global Market on Lake Street just you all are aware um, and uh, I've been getting sales and people have been loving it and I'm, social media is booming and people are noticing my art and it's just awesome and um, I was able to, you know, overcome my disability with something not many people would think would be possible for someone who's blind is to do art and to do, you know, pixel art, which is really small. But for me, it's actually really big because I have, you know, I can zoom in square by square and, and get the exact amount of detail and colors that I need. So, um, it's really awesome, um, to current date i've got two guinness book of world records for this uh for pixel art i am the first person to be ever accepted into the guinness book of world records as a digital media measurement they have only handled physical measurements for years and years and years and i am the first person to get in there with a with a digital measurement and my digital measurement is by is pixels and that's my pixel art and uh, they accepted my two pieces which are going to be in the 2015 or sorry 2014 guinness book of world records printed in 2015 of january and um the uh two pieces are uh, powers image and crystal view now let me start out with powers image is a picture of a dragon um, and it's it's a very it's a very powerful image uh, if you again want to see a preview of it or if you want to take a look at my youtube channel I definitely promote you to go and take a look at that um, this image is 800,000 pixels it took me five months to finish this one and it was it was a challenge it was a pain in the butt it was difficult it was i just it was a number of things but it ultimately was fun it was a great challenge i overcome and then even when i submitted it to guinness book of world records and they accepted it i'm sitting there I'm like oh my god this is going to be seen by thousands of people printed in their books come january it's going to be so much exposure i just can't wait and the second one, the second image is called Crystal View. Now, Crystal View is the reason why I got that one as a second um, Guinness Book of World Records is because that one is the biggest digitally constructed, uh, biggest digitally constructed constructed pixel art uh, piece in the shortest time because I did. Uh, crystal view is 2,560,000 pixels and I did that in two and a half months instead of five so I did more than double the amount of pixels for half of the time and uh, again you know please I'm, I'm encouraging you go and check out my YouTube channel go and check out you know my you know my my uh, 
Zazzle.com accounts. Um, please, you know, if you want to t contact me directly, please contact me through my email. I encourage it because people really need to see this and really need to know that it's something cool and everybody's going to love it. And the more people that can help me promote it to everybody would be great. <clears throat> um, but uh, the when I made these two pieces, I was determined. I was ready to go and I just I just felt I had to do these really huge projects you know and up to date you know I've had uh, I've had two exhibitions I've been selling my work um, I've made out some new pieces and starting from today's date which is Sorry guys, uh, October twenty Thursday, October twenty third. I have be I have decided upon myself to only make pictures that are the size of Crystal View, which are two million five hundred sixty thousand pixels at a time, because not only does that make me go slower, because I with my smaller projects I can get about five done in a month, with, but I'm starting to find out that's a little bit too busy for me, so. I'm going to be making bigger works from now on. So not only does it take me slower time, but also I can uh, put more uh, detail into my artworks. Sorry guys, that was my uh, alarm clock saying that it was 8 a.m. Just so you now know when this was recorded. It was 8 a.m. of uh, the 23rd of October. And, um, so, yeah. Um, but... Uh, from there, I really, I'm open to questions. I'm open to most questions about my disability. You know, there's a, there's some that I won't answer for obvious personal reasons, but otherwise I will answer about just about anything. Um, I will let you know personally if I can't answer anything or if I don't want to answer it. Um, I encourage you, let me just say a few links that you can check out. Again, my email is pete.2010 at yahoo.com. Uh, my Zazzle.com store is Digipixel. And that one, <clears throat> if you can't find it under Digipixel, you put in my name, Peter Elvidge, E-L-V-I-D-G-E. And um, let's see my youtube account is pete4725 and my twitter account which is really blowing up with people is um at peter elvidge at p-e-t-e-r-e-l-v-i-d-g-e -E -E -E. all one word just you are all well aware who aren't uh, experienced with twitter so i thank you for listening to my first podcast i I'm really looking for feedback. I'm really looking for people to share this <clears throat> share this podcast to as many people as possible because I the more people that can help me and the more people that get inspired not only by my story but by my art, the more I can inspire and power and you know just my goal is to not be the person that you see on a billboard every five seconds, you know, like every celebrity is. My goal is for you to think every day, not of me, but what I've taught you. You know, what, you know, why should you feel empowered? Why should you feel determined? Why, why do you want to, you know, keep going? You know, I want people to think of me in that form, not as a celebrity, but as someone who's, who's got, you know, uh, cool art with a cool message. And uh, so, yeah, so um, I'm going to say uh, have a good day and thanks for thanks for listening. And yet again, check out my links for all my cool art. So thanks. Bye.